Hello YouTube viewers, hope you're all doing good. Welcome to this video. I am Venkat and this is Just Me an Open Source Channel. Right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to extend the Kubernetes functionality using uh, plugins. Right, so um, I'm gonna be showing you a quick way to create a plugin and then how to install a plugin and how you normally install the plugins and how you can use uh, something called Crew. So I'm gonna show you uh, a tool called uh, Crew, K-R-E-W Crew, that helps you manage uh, the plugins, right? So it's like uh, Yum or uh, the app get package manager for Ubuntu or for uh, CentOS. So it is very similar to the package manager, like how you install a package on your operating system, how you upgrade it and how you remove the packages. So managing your plugins in the Kubernetes environment uh, it will be made easier using the crew uh, tool. The crew itself is actually a plugin. So we're going to completely deal with plugins in this video. It's gonna uh, come handy in many ways. So I guess uh, you will find this video useful. So first, let's see, I've started a Kubernetes cluster just before uh, starting this recording. So if I do kubectl version minus minus shot, so we have version 1.16 Kubernetes, which is the latest version. And uh, um, okay, so kubectl get nodes. So I have three nodes, one master node and two worker nodes. Right, so how do you uh, write your own custom plugin? So I'm not gonna show you a, a good working plugin, just a quick, simple plugin, which is not gonna make any sense. But anyway, I'll just show you how to write a plugin. All right, so. If you want to write a plugin, uh, it's just it can be written in any scripts, whether it's a Bash script, Perl, Python, or any programming language you choose. It has to be an executable script. That's it. So I'm going to choose uh, Bash, and make sure to put the script uh, inside the path environment. I mean, uh, user local bin, user bin, or whatever it's in your path. You need to put that script in that path to be uh, executable. Okay. So I'm going to write a script, sudo vi user local bin slash, and the name of the script has to be kubectl dash your plugin name, for example, hello. Okay, so the naming convention is very strict, otherwise it won't work. So whatever script you write, you need to stick to this naming convention, kubectl dash hello or kubectl dash your plugin name okay so that's the uh, simple uh, script which I wrote earlier it's just a plain simple bash script that just echoes how are you that's it save that and then you need to make that file executable otherwise it won't work sudo change mode plus x use a local bin kubectl hello okay so that's done so now if I do which kubectl hello so that it is in my path, so I can access it directly. kubectl, hello, right? How are you? So that's the script that I wrote. So how are you gonna call it from your kubectl command line? It's very simple, kubectl space and the plugin name, hello. All right, so that's it. So you return your first Kubernetes plugin to extend your Kubernetes functionality. So the demo that I've just shown you is a very simple basic script, but uh, you can it's you can write whatever you want in that script. You can put complex kubectl commands uh, if you want to search for a particular part, or if you want to create a deployment or anything, whatever you want, whatever you imagine, you can put that in the script, and then you can just call kubectl and whatever the plugin name you've chosen. So kubectl hello. So that's how basically you're writing a script. It can be written in any programming language. The naming convention has to be kubectl dash plugin name. And then you need to put that uh, in the path variable, right? Uh, in the way in the in a directory that's accessible uh, directly. Okay. Right. So now I'm going to show you a tool called Crew. So Crew is itself a kubectl plugin. So now if I do just before that kubectl plugin list. So now it shows that I've got one plugin installed, which is user local bin kubectl hello. Okay, so let me delete that one. sudo rm minus rf user local bin kubectl hello. 
Okay, now if I do a kubectl plugin list, I don't have any plugins. All right, it has to be in your path. Whatever script you write, it has to be in your path. That's it. So that's very simple. And whatever kubectl plugins you find in the internet, it will be of the name kubectl dash whatever the plugin name is. Plugin name, whatever the plugin name is. And you have to download that, put it in a directory, use the local bin, for example, or in your home directory, but it has to be uh, accessible. You need to set the path variable to include that directory path. And then you are good to go. You can just call kubectl and the plugin name and whatever option, depending on your script. If you have written a parameterized script, you can call plugin name, uh, whatever option one, option two, and so on. All right. And to delete it, you just delete that script, that's it. Just I did, just like I did, I just deleted the uh, kubectl hello script and then kubectl plugin list shows I don't have any script. So that's <coughs> that simple. So crew plugin, we are going to install crew plugin and then we are going to use crew plugin to manage our other plugins, right? So for that, I'm going to search Kubernetes crew, the first uh, GitHub repository link here. And let's look at the install instructions. We will go through all these uh, options once we install it. All right, so the installation is here. I'm gonna copy this. Copy and paste it. Okay, so it's downloading the uh, crew plugin and it will be available, but we need to make sure that it's in the path. ls.crew and there is dash sorry slash bin so there it is kubectl dash crew and we should be able to use kubectl crew minus minus help it's not there because right now it's not in the path it's in the dollar dot crew slash bin directory so we need to add that to the uh, path variable export path equals dollar home slash dot crew slash bin colon dollar path and make sure to put this in your bash rc file or zshrc file depending on what shell you use and then now we should be able to use kubectl plugin list okay so now we have and if you look at the path here it's dot crew slash bin under my home directory and we have got the kubectl crew plugin okay cool so what can we do with the kubectl crew plugin uh the kubectl crew itself is just a script and it has got the minus minus help option to see what we can do with the uh, crew plugin. So you can call using kubectl crew minus minus help. And I'm gonna pipe that to less. Okay, so the list of available commands is help, info, install, list, search, and install. Let's go through them one by one, okay? So let me open up another terminal here and do let's look at one one by one kubectl crew version kubectl crew uh, version is there oh uh, i think i haven't added that to the path yeah export okay so now kubectl kubectl crew version Okay, so that's the uh, crew version. And what else we can do? kubectl crew, uh, we saw help list. Okay, so that's crew plugin index is not initialized. Run kubectl crew update. So once you install the uh, crew plugin, you have to do the update to update the index. kubectl crew update. Okay, so that's done. And now we can do kubectl crew list so that's going to list uh, what plugins we have installed it's similar to kubectl plugin list sorry kubectl you have to bear with me because i've got my new keyboard i'm just trying to type perfectly okay kubectl crew list we saw that one and if you want to search for available plugins there is this uh, search command here kubectl crew search okay so those are the list of available uh, plugins and let's see one by one less 
Okay, so these are all the list of plugins. Let's um, check like one or two of the plugins just for the sake of this video. Okay, what can we do? Okay, so let's do uh, who can. And if you want to know more about this particular plugin, you can do kubectl crew info who can. Okay, so that's it. it shows which subject have our back permissions to verb type and so on. So there's some examples here kubectl who can delete parts. It's basically you can use this plugin to find out uh, what who can do what and so on. Okay, let's install that plugin and see how it works. kubectl kubectl crew install who can. So that's downloading the who can um, script and it's going to put that in our dot crew slash bin directory. Okay, don't worry about the warnings and now we should be able to use it. So before that, let's see the list of plugins. kubectl crew list. Okay, so apart from crew, because crew itself is a plugin and apart from that, we have who can plugin installed. And if you want to update a particular plugin, kubectl crew update updated sorry upgrade there's a difference upgrade and it says skipping plugin crew and skipping plugin who can because they are all already in the newest version and if there is any new version you don't have to download the uh, script manually so this is the uh, work of the package manager so now this is the plugin manager uh, whenever you do kubectl upgrade like uh, app get upgrade or yum upgrade when you do crew up upgrade uh, it's going to check if there there are any updates available to the plugin that you have installed and it's going to download the latest copy of it and you can start using it okay so we've installed the who can plugin let's see how to use it the first thing you always need to do is find documentation about how to use a particular plugin kubectl who can minus minus help and point that to less Okay, shows which users, groups, on service accounts can perform a given action on a given resource type. So for example, kubectl who can get parts, kubectl who can create parts and so on. Let's play with it. kubectl who can create parts, for example. Okay, so it says, uh, let me maximize this uh, screen. No, I don't want to. Okay, or let me minimize the size. Okay, now it's better. So kubectl who can create parts cluster admin um, I'm the cluster admin right now because I'm using the kubeconfig um, file for cluster admin and what other roles are have access to create parts and you can do all sorts of things kubectl who can create namespace okay only cluster admin can create a namespace kubectl who can delete namespace okay so cluster admin generic garbage collector namespace controller so these roles have access to delete a namespace kubectl who can uh, delete parts okay so these are the uh, list of uh, roles that have access to deleting the parts and you can also say kubectl who can delete parts on a particular namespace cube system for example or if you want to look at all the uh, namespaces minus minus all namespace all namespaces yep so these are various things you can do with uh, the who can plugin kubectl who can minus minus help pipe that to less and you will have the documentations here kubectl who can get service account so the first verb is like get list watch delete create update and so on and the next one is the type of the resource that you want to check against it can be pod daemon set services stateful set or anything and you can also put a star it seems uh, for all verb who have all access to the uh, pods and so on okay and who, who can get logs and so on and these are the flags that you can use 
all namespace r minus en for a particular namespace minus en it's here okay so that's one plugin and let's check some other plugin kubectl crew search less and the other plugin i wanted to show you is change namespace change dash ns okay kubectl crew info change namespace so you're just looking at if you're used to yum uh, package manager you will do yum info a package and that will list you the information about a particular package so before installing it's always a good idea to look at what that plugin is about and what it can do for you so that's what i'm doing right now kubectl crew info change namespace okay the description is view or change the current namespace in your cube config file okay so it's about switching the namespaces you don't have to uh, prepend minus minus namespace whatever it is okay let me show you first kubectl get all so we are in the default namespace and if you want to get the pods that are in the cube system namespace cube sorry kubectl get pods minus n cube system right so you prefix minus n sorry you suffix minus n cube system and then it lists the pods on that particular namespace but what if you want to do kubectl get pods you want to switch to the uh, cube system namespace and do kubectl get pods so that's what this plugin is uh, going to help us with okay let's install that plugin kubectl crew list so still we have got just two plugins installed so we are going to install this new plugin kubectl crew install change namespace okay installing the plugin change namespace that's installed kubectl crew list so now you can see we have change namespace who can and crew three plugins installed and let's look at how to use that actually okay kubectl change namespace if you don't give any option it's going to show you what namespace you are currently using so is set for the current context kubernetes no namespace is set for the current context okay kubectl change namespace minus minus help all right kubectl usage ns new namespace okay let's do that kubectl change namespace default kubectl change namespace default so now if you do kubectl change namespace without any option it's going to show you which uh, namespace you are connected to okay so now we are connected to the default namespace kubectl get pods we don't have any pods in the default namespace and if you want to switch your namespace kubectl change namespace to cube system for example kubectl change namespace so now we are connected to the cube system namespace and I can do kubectl get pods and you can see we are connected to the cube system namespace and it's listing the pods in the cube system namespace okay so that's good let's look at one more plugin for an example kubectl crew search what else should we check um, exec as get all grep that sounds good kubectl crew info grep uh, filter Kubernetes resources by matching their names. So basically, I've played with this uh, plugin before recording this video. It's about if you want to search for a particular resource across all the namespaces, it, this plugin is really useful, really handy. Okay, let's install that. kubectl crew install grep. So it's installing the uh, plugin that's installed. kubectl crew list. So now we have four plugins installed kubectl crew upgrade okay so all the version all the plugins are uh, already on the newest version so there's nothing to upgrade kubectl grep um, minus minus help to see how we can use the grep command kubectl grep pods grep pods and that's uh, the keyword to search for okay so kubectl change namespace so we are in the cube system namespace that's okay let's change that back to default 
default okay cube cdl get parts we don't have any parts but if you want to you just logged into your um, cluster you're about to run some commands in your kubernetes cluster you want to search for uh, some parts for example cube cdl grep parts and i want to search for all the parts that has calico in its name at the moment it's saying there are no parts with the calico in its name right because it's restricting to the default namespace by default but what you can do is you can specify minus minus all namespaces there you go so we are gripping for parts that has calico in its name so it's easy for you to um, query the kubernetes cluster for for any resources it's not just for parts you can search for daemon set you can search for services and so on kubectl grep service services anything the shorthand is also will also work for example po calico minus minus all namespaces are the short form is minus uppercase a yep parts po all the short notation will also work kubectl grep service uh, what should we grep for something that has cuber in it kubectl unknown command svc kubectl grep service okay so i think service is not allowed kubectl grep minus minus help uh yep services are not allowed available command so you can grip for parts daemon sets deployments uh horizontal part auto scaler nodes parts stateful sets version okay kubectl grep uh daemon set proxy nothing but i want to search across all the namespaces minus a okay so that is kube proxy that's the daemon set and if you don't give any keyword at the end, for example, kubectl grep daemon set without proxy, it's gonna list all the daemon sets available in your cluster. If you specify minus A or minus minus all namespaces. Okay, so those are the list of daemon sets we have got. kubectl grep service minus A. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have service. kubectl grep deployment or deployments or just deploy anything is okay grep deploy minus a so it's gonna give you a list of all the deployments running in your cluster so at the moment there are two deployments there are only two deployments and if i run kubectl um, run kubectl create deploy nginx minus minus image nginx so nginx deployment created so now if i do kubectl grep deploy nginx sorry kubectl grep deploy nginx so it's going to grep for all these so if you have used your linux system and if you've used the grep command you can find it really easy kubectl grep deploy and if you don't specify the keyword it's going to list all the deployments uh, in your cluster and if you have to specify minus a or minus minus all namespace and it will give you all the deployments so these are some of the uh, plugins that i have played with and there is also a plugin called uh, sudo where is it uh, there are lots of plugins that you can play with actually so there is sudo ssh jump and you can do a kubectl ssh jump to a particular uh, worker node for example because but I haven't tried it. Uh, I only tried a few of these plugins, but you can play with it. Uh, restart, kubectl restart, and if you give it a pod name, it will restart that pod for you. And these are the list of plugins. All right, so kubectl crew list, list of plugins, and if you want to uninstall, which I didn't cover, kubectl crew uninstall who can that's uninstall kubectl crew uninstall change namespace kubectl crew uninstall grep kubectl crew list so we have we are back to 
just one plugin cube CDL plugin list okay so just we're back to one plugin just the crew plugin so this is how you use crew as a plugin manager to install additional plugins you can search for plugin you can list information about the plugin so once you install the plugin uh, go to uh, kubectl space the plugin name and minus minus help that will give you some commands so that you can understand what the plugin is about to do how it can help you and what sort of commands and options are available for individual plugins and so on and then you can do kubectl crew upgrade to upgrade any plugin if there are any updates available for any particular plugins it will automatically download the updated version and you can do kubectl uninstall finally if you don't like a plugin all right so this is not a very big concept but it comes really handy you don't have to use but these are a list of useful plugins but you can always write your own plugin whatever you want if you've got a complex set of commands that you type repeatedly uh, for example kubectl <coughs> kubectl get all kubectl get parts and so on you can just make it as a bash script and then uh, put it in use the local bin then you can do kubectl your plugin name that will become it's kind of alias or a shorthand uh, for running your complex commands all right so that's all i wanted to show you in this video thank you so much for your time watching this video um, i would suggest you to play with all these plugins and so that you get more understanding of how it actually works and how you can extend the functionality of the, your kubernetes and I would suggest you to write your own Kubernetes plugin, either using Bash, Perl, Python, or whatever language you prefer, and get used to it. If you get stuck, please give me a shout. I'll be able to help you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope you found this video useful. Please share it with your friends if you liked it. Um, I would be very happy uh, for you. I would be very happy to help you. Uh, if you've got any questions, I'll be... I'm very keen to respond to all of your comments. So in my channels, if you've noticed... Uh, all my videos I would have replied to every single comment I, I would basically say I'm very addicted to responding to YouTube comments uh, very quickly basically within 24 hours so if you're stuck anywhere just let me know in the comments and I should be able to help you all right thank you I will see you all in my next video bye bye